So when issuing warnings for large hail and giant hail, a lot of things go into that. So firstly, we look at the environment to make sure it's conducive for the formation of large hail. And then once the storms are formed on satellite image and radar, we can then diagnose uh, these storms and look how high and tall they are, uh, and also how much rain or hail they may have. Now, uh, it is tricky to pinpoint exactly where that hail has fallen. Uh, we only have storms can be 20 or so kilometres wide, but the hail area might only be about a kilometre or so wide. Um, once we get reports on the ground, also some of the detailed um, algorithms and things we get out of our radar program, which is looking at the storm um, in 3D every five minutes, allows us to kind of get a rough idea of where that large hail may be falling.